So right, now that we're in game guys, you can see that I'm averaging the save from about 22 to, I don't know, say 29 tops. Yeah, 20, 20, 22 to 30 F F FPS in this place here with no launch commands. Now let me quickly close the game, put the launch commands in and then we'll jump back in game again and show you how many FPS we have gained. Right, so now that we're back, in, we've got Steam open, what you want to do is you want to go to the description of this video, copy the commands that I leave down there and I will also leave the information on what they change and what they do so you guys know before you actually put the commands in then you want to come to steam right click arc survival go properties go to set launch options and paste them uh, launch commands into there press ok and now let's jump in game and see how many fps we've gained if we've gained any at all you will see so right now as you see guys we are roughly on about 39 to 40 46 50 there so we have basically gained at least at x 10 to 15 frames, if not even more. Yeah, so roughly about 16 frames more, probably 17 frames more, as you can see in the FPS counter on the right. So this is with the launch command, this is the first option, or you can choose the second option, which is uh, dragging two files into the game, the game directory where like the game is installed, and you you'll we'll notice a big difference in the game and how it looks and the shadows the lights don't work, torches don't work uh, fire, fireplaces don't let off no light right now that we're back at desktop I've deleted the launch commands I'm going to leave a link in the description to the drop box and it's going to have this fix in it it's going to contain two files engine and game user settings these are like obviously the shadows and, and all the game settings that people have changed and it does make you get more FPS but it looks much shitter so I'll just use the first solution that I just showed you but if you want to use these right click the game uh, Arc Survival in Steam go properties local files browse local files shooter uh, config oh sorry I don't done that again save config windows no editor and drag drag the two files that you just downloaded into there replace them yes now I'll close that and we'll launch up the games and we'll show you what's changed and how see how much FPS we've got so see you in a second now that we're back in games you can already see that we've got a dramatic increase again um, we've probably gained another about 10 or 15 FPS so both ways you probably gain you probably gain a bit more using the second uh, solution but as you see it makes everything look really dark it just makes it look really crap so if I was you guys, I would use the first solution, definitely. So till next time, peace out.